today I'm going to be playing out the 2023 season for the Kansas City Chiefs, but for every touchdown that Isaiah Pacheco scores, we get to add a 99 overall player to this team. So I mean, as long as things go my way today, by the end of the video, the Chiefs should be an absolute super team. But this is what the offense looks like to start things off. I mean, clearly they're not terrible or anything like that, but we definitely need to get our boy Patrick Mahomes some more help. And on the other hand, I mean, there really isn't anything bad to say about this defense. The Chiefs have one of the best defenses in the league. I mean, obviously, it's the Kansas City Chiefs, so clearly they're already Super Bowl contenders. I mean, they have Mahomes and Kelsey. That's really all you need. But at the same time, there's still a lot of things that we could do to help out the offense. But in week one, it looks like we have to play the Lions. The Lions did score to start this game off, though. So, I mean, hopefully we can answer back on this drive. I'm going to go for Valdez Scantling here, and it looks like we're getting smoked by Hutchinson. I mean, it's third down already, so we are in danger of giving the ball right back back to Detroit, which is not something that you want to do, especially now that the Lions are a good team. We're going to find Kelsey and somehow we turn that into a first. So, I mean, that keeps the drive alive. I also want to say, like, shout out Detroit, bro. I did not think I would ever see them win a playoff game in my lifetime, but last night, that is exactly what happened. I mean, it's actually crazy what Dan Campbell has done to that team. They went from the one of the worst teams in the NFL. At this point, I mean, I'd say they're probably Super Bowl contenders with the roster they have now and that's another first down from Pacheco but anyways I mean this is a Chiefs video so enough about Detroit I'm gonna try and go back to Valdez Scantling here and hopefully this time we're all oh, broken okay, never mind it's gonna work out that is another first down I thought we were gonna get smoked again but thankfully we didn't so nine yards to go and we're in I'm hoping we can get the job done because we really need to answer back so I feel like Detroit's gonna make this a shootout Come on, Pacheco. That is not good. I mean, we need another eight yards for the touchdown. I'm going to try and put in the air, even though this might not be the best decision in the world. I mean, oh, that's really close. And it's going to be picked off. Okay. Gardner Johnson's going to steal it from us. The Lions ended up scoring again after that drive too. So, I mean, now we're down 14-0. I had a feeling I shouldn't have put that in the air, but I just want... Oh, come on. Okay, let's go, Pacheco. I hope we can have some more runs like this. I mean, Pacheco definitely hasn't been playing bad. Bad, don't get me wrong but I mean he hasn't really had any crazy runs today that's why I was putting it in the air in the red zone because I mean I felt like that was probably my best chance to get a touchdown but obviously that was not the case we'll probably have to run it this time as long as we can get back into scoring position I mean if we can keep this up we should definitely be able to get back into scoring position I'm gonna try and go back to Valdez Scantling here. He's been all right today. He hasn't been the best, but he's been catching most of his passes, and that's gonna be another one. After that, though, I mean, four yards to go, and we're in the end zone. I learned my lesson from last time, so I'm just gonna keep it on the ground here. That's why I didn't want to keep it on the ground, though. Pacheco's kind of getting shut down, man, and I really don't know what to do about it, because obviously we don't have a whole lot of passing plays with him since he's a running back. Come on. Come on, we're gonna escape and get in. Let's go. Okay, we we really needed that right there. We almost got stopped again. That would have been a loss of yardage too, but since he snuck away, that's going to be his first touchdown of the game, and we're right back in this thing. And after that, I mean, our defense went out and forced a fumble, so we have a chance to tie things up before halftime, which I didn't think would happen, but that would be great. Oh my god, we actually might do this right now. Okay, we're going to go out at the two-yard line. I just got to make sure we don't lose yardage or anything here. We only have one timeout to work with right now. We're going to sneak in again. We we almost got stopped, but once again, I mean, this time Pacheco squeezed through, so that's going to be two on the game for him, and surprisingly enough, just like that, we are all tied up. We're coming back out here in the third quarter, though. I mean, somehow with the 20 seconds on the clock in the last half, Detroit scored, so they went into halftime with the lead, and then they also started with the ball, and obviously, they also scored to start off this half, so we're down 14 points right now. I wouldn't say we need a miracle to win this game just yet, but we need to do pretty much everything right if we want to stand a chance. I mean, the run game hasn't been amazing or anything like that today. It hasn't been terrible, but I mean, in the air, we've been pretty unstoppable for the most part. Pacheco, let's go. The Lions did end up forcing a third down after that, though. So, I mean, we really need this to work. If it doesn't, I'm going to go for it on fourth down. 
but it looks like we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna try and go for a run, even though I have a feeling this isn't gonna work. Actually, the way they're set up, if our O-line can get a block, we might have a path. That looks good, okay. Oh, we almost stayed up. If we would have stayed up, that was gonna be a house call, but either way, five yards. Eh, that's a touchdown. Let's go Pacheco. Okay, he's playing a lot better now. So that's gonna be his third touchdown of the game. We are still gonna be down by one score, so hopefully our defense can actually clutch up. As you guys can see, I mean, we were not able to do that. I mean, we made it close. We only lost that game by two points, but either way, we're gonna start off the season with an 0-1-1 record. But since Pacheco finished that game with three touchdowns, we got three new additions to this team. I mean, as you can see, to help out the offense, we picked up Trent Williams. And to help out the defense, we went ahead and picked up Minka Fitzpatrick and TJ Watt. I mean, after all of that, I'd say this team's looking a whole lot better than we did last week, even though we were never really bad to begin with but in week two we got to play the jacksonville jaguars anyways i mean the jags started with the ball but we got an interception so it looks like our defense is doing their job we have great field position to start this game off and it looks like pacheco is gonna make our field position even better i mean i'm not gonna complain about an 18 yard pickup to start off the game so we're already off to a pretty good start here i'm gonna hand it off to him again this time we still got a decent pickup but obviously that was nowhere near what we got last Last time i'm gonna try and go for veldez scantling on this drive though and hopefully this works out oh that's dangerous i shouldn't have thrown that but we still caught it saying the chiefs receivers have been garbage this season i was not expecting him to bring that down but somehow he did even though that 100 percent should have been picked off and that's another first down from pacheco so after that play 11 yards to go and we're in the end zone i'm gonna try and hit travis kelsey here just so we can have better field position in this and then if it works out i'll probably go for a run that's better thought we got that to the five but since we couldn't i mean seven yards to go when we're in so this is still a pretty long run but hopefully that looks good we are gonna be one yard short i'm not gonna lie i thought that was a gimme but either way i mean one yard shouldn't be that much of a problem if we get stuffed here i don't know what to tell you but we're in so we don't gotta worry about that so that's another touchdown from our boy isaiah pacheco which is gonna give us the lead first and after that our defense clutched up again because they stopped the jags on fourth down we have crazy bad field position right now i'm I'm hoping we can make it a bit better i mean the seven yard pickup gets it to the nine i'm not gonna risk anything and put in the air just yet because i mean if we throw an interception right now we're basically screwed i'm not gonna lie to you though i mean i don't think he's gonna be able to get another six yard pickup from here so i gotta put in the air i'm gonna go for valdez scantling oh he's kind of locked up too i'm just gonna keep it on the ground mahomes is getting the first down honestly i did not think we had any chance in hell at picking that up when i had to take it on the run but since we did we're still going i'm gonna try and go for travis kelsey here who is surprisingly wide open for a huge gain so it looks like we are starting to go off right now i'm gonna hand it off to pacheco again here and hopefully we can get another first down. I mean, Juke, not happening. Still got five yards there. I mean, it's not like that was a bad gain or anything. But after that, I'm going to put it back in the air. Oh, dude. That's... I shouldn't have thrown that. Okay. I mean, honestly, I thought we had a chance there. That guy kind of came up out of nowhere. When I threw the ball, he was wide open. And then he wasn't wide open. The Jaguars scored after that, too. So I got to make sure I get my shit together. Because, I mean, we are kind of choking right now. We really need to win this game. Because I am not trying to start off the season with an 0-2 record. So I got to be more careful with the football on this drive. I'm going to try and go for Veldez Scantling here. That looks good. That is crazy. We got exploded. If he held on to that, that would have been a pretty massive pickup. But since he didn't, now it's second and 10. I feel like this play works most of the time. Oh, we're getting smoked again. Never mind. We're still up. That's insane. Let's go. <laughs> There's no question about it. We should have definitely gotten sacked there. I am not sure how Mahomes escaped that and got it off for a first down. But the guy's a wizard. Those are just the type of plays you're going to see from this guy. I'm going to try and go back to Travis Kelsey here, though. Honestly, at this point, I don't even care who scores the touchdown. If we can get one with Pacheco, great. But if not, I mean, it's whatever. I just got to make sure we actually score here. I mean, the team's already stacked. We honestly don't need a whole lot of help 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be in. Okay, I'm just taking this in too. I gotta make sure we have the lead. Because as I said, I am not trying to start off the season with an 0-2 record. So that's gonna put us up by seven. We're coming back out here in the third quarter though. Our defense is actually going off today. They got another interception. So we have the ball at the 47. It seems like Trevor Lawrence is struggling right now. I gotta make sure we score here though. Because I mean, obviously they tied the game up before halftime. Oh, let's go Kadarius Tony. How are we still up? That is a crazy play to be fair. I mean, the, Kadarius Tony is 10 times better on Madden than he is in real life, so I can actually work with him right now. Oh, yeah, that's a touchdown. Let's go, Pacheco. Okay. I didn't think we were going to have that much open field, but that worked out perfectly. So that's going to be his second touchdown of the game, and just like that, we're going to be back up by a score. We're back out here in the fourth quarter, though. We scored again after that, but so did Jacksonville, so we're still only up by one score. That's a terrible play. I mean, I wouldn't call this a put-away drive or anything like that just yet, but if we score here... That should definitely raise our chances of winning this game because we are in the fourth quarter. And if we have a two score lead in the fourth quarter with five minutes left, I think you guys can see where that game would go. Basically, my point is if we score right now, the Jags are going to need an absolute miracle to win this game. That's another first down. Okay. Once again, man, I just want to make sure we get the job done. I'm not trying to start off the season at 0 and 2, as I've already said a million times. So I could care less who scores the touchdown. Since Kelsey's open, it looks Looks like it's gonna be him so that's gonna put us back up by two scores and i mean as long as our defense doesn't collapse that should put the game away and as you can see it looks like we got the job done the jags made it close once again we only won that game by one score but either way that's our first win of the season but after that game since we got two touchdowns we got two very important new additions to this team as you can see, we got Mahomes a friend by picking up Justin Jefferson. And to help out the defense even more, we went ahead and picked up Jesse Bates. But after that, we went ahead and simmed to week five for our primetime game against the Vikings. I mean, as you can see, we're three and one. So it looks like we've been on an absolute tear ever since we lost to Detroit. For some reason, I thought this was a primetime game, but apparently it's not. Either way, we had a pretty good kick return. So, I mean, we have the ball at the 38 to start our drive off. And it looks like Pacheco's gonna sneak away. Vikings did force a third down after that though so i mean now it's third and four i'm just gonna try and go for jefferson i mean i feel like this duo is gonna be insane they already look unstoppable i mean i know it's only one play but come on i mean mahomes and jefferson that sounds like a super bowl right there we're playing against jefferson's former team too so i mean he should know this defense pretty well it looks like he's dogging them already i honestly might just keep throwing it to him because they have not been able to stop this guy whatsoever yet i'm gonna try and go back to him again here and it looks like he's oh that's dangerous we got it though okay that's another first i mean that was very close to getting picked off but i mean if you put it anywhere near him where he can get to the ball i feel like jefferson usually comes down with it that was actually a terrible play now it's third and 13 as well because they got to stop after that too i'm gonna try and go for jefferson i want hmm that should work okay that's at least a first i mean one more solid play and we should be in i'm just gonna hand it off to pacheco and see if he can get himself another touchdown here that's close we are getting shut down i don't know what happened but this defense all of a sudden has woken up so now it's third and goal because they got another stop after that if this gets shut down i'll probably go for it on fourth down but i mean i'm just really praying that this works out and it looks like we're gonna sneak in so we don't need to try and get a fourth down conversion since that worked out so that that's going to be Pacheco's first touchdown of the game, and it's going to give us the lead first. And after that, it looks like our defense managed to get another stop. So we have the ball at the 11 because we stopped them on fourth down. So we have crazy, terrible field position once again. But it looks like Kadarius Tony's wide open. So that makes it a lot easier for us. I mean, we're only in the second quarter and our boy Patty Mahomes already has 102 passing yards, which is a crazy start. That's dangerous. We should have that, though. Let's go. I can't believe we caught that. No way. Okay, we're going out at the one. I'm not trying to glaze Justin Jefferson, but I feel like that's a catch that only Justin Jefferson can make. We literally had our hands wrapped around his helmet, and we still brought it down, and then we got more yardage after that, which is absolutely insane. And obviously, I mean, that's going to pay off that we went out at the one-yard line, because Pacheco's going to get in for a very easy touchdown. So that's two on the game for him, and just like that, we're up 14-0. 
thing. We're coming back out here in the third quarter, though. As you can see, the Vikings have made it a six-point game. I mean, not having Jefferson is a huge loss for him, but it seems like Osborne and Addison are doing a good job at taking over his position. I'm gonna go for a run here, though. I mean, come on, bro. That's... Oh, we almost got the first. I feel like it doesn't really matter what play we run. As long as it includes Justin Jefferson, it's gonna work out most of the time. I mean, this guy's route running is unreal. And I mean, as you guys have probably already noticed, obviously Jefferson can take a hit because he's been getting absolutely clobbered today, but so far he has not dropped a single pass yet. Oh, that's a huge pickup. I'm gonna go back to that play again and see if this can work out. I mean, I feel like the outside runs are working a lot better than the inside runs because those have been getting shut down for the most part. Of course we get shut down when I'm talking good about it. I mean, nine yards to go and we're in. I'm just gonna go for another run and hopefully, dude, Okay, never mind. Our O-line actually saved our ass there. I thought we were going to get stopped, but he ran into one of our linemen. So that's going to be Pacheco's third touchdown of the game. And I mean, I'm going to go for a two-point conversion, matter of fact, because apparently we missed one of our PAT attempts. So I want to make sure this is a 14-point game. And if this works out, this might honestly put things away. It looks like Jefferson's going to be open. So that should probably do it because there's only five minutes on the clock. And after that, I mean, it looks like our defense did their job closing out the game. So we're going to win. Vikings scored again so i mean it seems like every game is a one score game but either way a dub's a dub so that's another one to add to the record but after that game we got to add another three players to this team and as you can see i just went ahead and gave us the best pass rush of all time by picking up aaron donald nick bosa and micah parsons after all of those upgrades i'd say we're already super bowl favorites but we sim to week 14 because i wanted to end things off with a bit of a challenge as you can see we're going to be taking on the buffalo bills who are also 11 and 1 so you already know this is going to be one hell of a game our defense is crazy but so is theirs as you can see and they also scored on their first drive even though our pass rush is by far the best of all time oh my god dude pacheco is gone hold on if we don't get caught by von miller we're gonna bring that oh hold on hold on no way we brought that back bro there was like four opportunities that they had to bring us down but somehow pacheco just trucked through everyone in his path so just like that we're gonna tie the game up and that was by far the best play that he's had all day buffalo did score after that though so, I mean, it looks like this is probably just going to be an absolute shootout that's going to come down to the wire. They were not able to stop the run last time. This time, they're going to. I mean, either way, I just want you guys to put into perspective that Pacheco has ran two plays in this game so far, and the guy already has 82 yards on the ground. Since Kelsey couldn't get the first there, though, I mean, now it's third and three. I have trust in Justin Jefferson, so I'm just going to go for him. He's going to be open too. We almost got smoke, but it looks like we're going to get that off and bring it all the way to the 39. I really want to try and get another big play going with Pacheco, but I don't know if we're going to be able to, especially when Von Miller is going to be on this side. Yeah, it's what I thought. I mean, I should probably just keep it in the air until we get it to like the 5, 10 yard line or something. They did bring up a third down after that though. So I really need this play to work. We're getting smoked by Von Miller. This is a really dumb decision. I'm going for it though. This is a 60 yard field goal attempt and i think i butchered that actually hold on please please it's in let's go it bounced off the inside of the post and after that our defense was able to get the first stop of the game so i mean if we score here we're gonna have the lead we are only gonna be up by three points but we need to make sure we get in once again though man i mean the bills forced another third down this defense is actually beating the hell out of our offense right now i'm gonna try and go for Kadarius tony and hopefully he's not locked up he's wide open okay so that keeps the drive going that's what we we need we don't even need big plays we just need to keep getting first downs i'm gonna try and go to jefferson here though he's gonna be wide open that's another first down let's go i haven't really done a whole lot with travis kelsey yet so i'm gonna try and go for him here hopefully micah hyde is not on his ass he's gonna be wide open oh never mind mm, we got smoked and we dropped the ball i was really hoping that play would work but since it didn't now we have another third down situation if this doesn't work i'm just gonna kick the field goal but it looks like Justin Jefferson is gonna get the first. I'm just gonna go back to that play of Jefferson and hopefully we can get our bounds at like a good position where we can go for a run because we don't have a whole lot of time before the half. 
That's a huge play. Okay, one yard to go. I thought I accidentally sneaked in for a touchdown there, which wouldn't really be bad. Obviously, that would have given us the lead, but I want to try and get like at least two or three more of Pacheco today. And it looks like we're in. So that's going to be his second of the game. And just like that, we're going to take the lead back right before halftime. So hopefully our defense can clutch up. We're back out here in the fourth quarter, though. We have great field position right now because Josh Allen threw an interception. So now we have a chance to make this a two score game i thought this was going to be a shootout game that was going to be like 40 to 38 or something like that after the start but since then i mean it's been all defense okay that's a first so i mean even though this game started off with like score after score after score it's been defense ever since then so it's only 17 to 14 that is gonna put us in mm, okay we're out at the three i mean i'd say this is perfect territory for isaiah pacheco von miller is looking at me and i don't like it hopefully we don't get smoked by him we're gone bro that's gonna be another one okay they just left the outside wide open so they kind of made that easy for us so just like that that's three on the game for pacheco and that is gonna give us a two score lead i mean as you can see after that it looks like we closed the game out we only won by three points so it seems like every game we play is a one score game but taking down the 11 and one bills that is a big one but once again we got to pick up another three players for this team as you can see to help out the offense even more we picked up tear on armstead and then after that i just went ahead and totally maxed out the defense by picking up josh allen and sauce gardner i mean they say defense wins championships and as you can see we definitely have a championship caliber defense and on the other hand i mean the offense is nowhere near as good as the defense but they are clearly also stacked but after all of that i mean i'd say our work here is definitely done and considering we're 12 and 1 i think we've already made the playoffs and it looks like we finished off the season strong going 16 and 1 to win the division and obviously we got the number one seed and it looks like we have to play the houston texans in the divisional round and it looks like we're gonna sneak away if the win so now we play the ravens for a trip to the super bowl and it looks like we're also gonna get the best of lamar so now we play the cowboys in the super bowl and it looks like we held them to a field goal in the first drive of the game so we have a chance to take the lead here so hopefully we can make the most out of this opportunity Oh, we're getting stuff. Not the pickup I was looking for, but I mean, on the bright side, at least we didn't lose yardage or anything. I'm gonna try and go for Travis Kelsey on this play, who is gonna be wide open. And it looks like that's gonna be a first down. But thanks to the holding call, it looks like that is coming back. So apparently we're playing against Dallas and the refs today, which is always fun. And we're getting smoked by Lawrence. We need this play to work and there is nothing else to it. If we get safety, I'm gonna be extremely butthurt. Kadarius Tony's wide open though. No way we get a first down after all of that. That is actually ridiculous. Third and 29 and we go out and get a 40 yard pickup. So that definitely helps out our case. I'm gonna try and go back to Travis Kelsey here. And once again, he's wide open. This time we're not getting flagged. We're already looking pretty good on this drive. We just gotta make sure we end things off strong. I'm gonna hand it off to Pacheco again. Uh, the run game? Oh, actually, nah. Run game is not working against this team. So, I mean, at this point, I might as well just keep it in the air. I'm gonna try and go for Justin Jefferson here who has been an absolute beast lately, and it looks like he's not slowing down. So that's another first. As I said earlier, though, I mean, we haven't really done a whole lot with Travis Kelsey, so hopefully he can be open here, because out of everyone, I mean, this guy really deserves to get a touchdown, and it looks like that is exactly what's gonna happen. So Kelsey's in the end zone for the touchdown, which is gonna give us the lead. We're only up 7-3, but I mean, I have faith that our defense can absolutely annihilate this team. I mean, once again, we only won by one score but either way we're gonna get the job done this kind of proves my point though i mean i said it seems like every game we play it's a one score game and that was another one score game it doesn't matter though because i mean this team did go off the offense was insane i'm kind of surprised our defense allowed so many points though considering how stacked they were but i mean either way as you guys can see patrick mahomes and the kansas city chiefs are gonna be hoisting the lombardi trophy to end off this video but that's gonna do it for this one if you guys enjoyed the video make Make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out